Battlefield Fall of the World. War action films are one of the most popular genres in the Chinese cinematic universe. While not necessarily set during a war, these movies have military men as their protagonists. The courage and stamina displayed in these people are so contagious that they can stir up a heroic streak in literally anyone, even those whose quote-unquote weapon has been a TV remote control. Although falling into the category of post-apocalyptic sci-fi films, Battlefield Fall of the World transcends a typical war movie message that can be summed up like this. You must religiously follow orders and be prepared to die for a higher purpose. The film takes place in 2042. Earth is attacked by aliens that are after our fresh water. Protected with armor that makes them immune to conventional weapons, hostile intruders are wiping off the human civilization like a plague. The surviving humans eke out a miserable existence, hiding among ruins and in holes in the ground. Cheng Ling is an ex-soldier who fled the battlefield during one of the first clashes with the aliens. We find him headed south to reunite with his family. At the same time, a group of soldiers led by Gao Ren have intercepted the mysterious signal from the legendary general Mac Kay and are now committed to find its source. The soldiers ask Cheng Ling to join them on their quest. Cheng Ling thinks it's pure madness, but Gao Ren and his men manage to persuade him otherwise. After all, they're military people who simply won't take no for an answer. The character of Gao Ren is played by a Chinese actor Ren Tianyi. While virtually unknown outside Asia, he enjoys his popularity in his home country. In his younger years, he played football professionally and even worked as bodyguard to a Hong Kong actor A. Kang Chang. In the early 2000s, Ren Tianyi set out to conquer the film industry. In 20 years of acting, he was often pigeonholed as a stoic soldier, which later made him a hot choice for low-budget online projects. Zhang Zilu, who played Cheng Ling, is nearly twice as young as Tuan Yi. Zilu started acting as a kid, and it shows that he delivers a solid performance in Battlefield. This is all white noise though, let's talk about the actual movie. Well, frankly speaking, it doesn't have much to offer. The film runtime is 1 hour and 40 minutes, it's still long for an online project. The plot goes in a straight line, devoid of exciting twists and turns. As a result, the movie's inflated runtime is mostly packed with lifeless action scenes and pompous speeches on heroics, bravery, valor, and mutual aid among fellow soldiers. All of these are, hands down, very important themes to address in a war action film. Problem is, the creators of Battlefield hammer these ideas into the audience's minds in the most unceremonious way, so that you find yourself wishing to fast forward through these unbearable scenes. The action in the film leaves a mixed impression as well. Battlefield is brimming with combat scenes, but as the movie progresses, they become increasingly inert and monotonous. Since the aliens cannot be killed by conventional weapons, all bullets end up bouncing off their powerful shields. It gets even worse when the filmmakers start to save ammunition by faking gunshots with CGI. The actors are making awkward moves with their machine guns pretending to be shooting, and this makes the film look even cheaper than it already is. On second thought, if you're dying to see a Chinese sci-fi action film, are willing to turn a blind eye on the flaws and have nothing against patriotic pep talks, you'll probably like Battlefield Fall of the World. Although unapologetically straightforward and into your face, it's still far from being the worst movie in its genre.